Welcome to our channel. In this session, we are going to discuss about storage allocation techniques. Storage allocation means we need to assign memory to the program for execution. We broadly categorize the storage allocation techniques into three types. First one is static storage allocation. Second one is stack storage allocation. Third one is heap allocation. These are the three different storage allocations. Now we will move one by one. What is the difference among different memory allocations? First one static storage allocation means the memory is allocated to the program at compile time. The name static, the name static specifies the memory is allocated at compile time. Remember one point. If the memory is allocated at compile time means simply that is allocated inside the static area and memory is created only one time the memory is created only one time what is the meaning of this one only one time for example if i create some memory in the static area if i call the particular procedure after completion suppose i will move back Again, if I call the same procedure, means it retains the previous values, clear? Retains the local names, retains the local name. Why? Static means the memory is available throughout the program. Throughout the program, whenever we are calling, it retains the previous values. That is called static storage allocation what is the main problem the main problem is only one time is allocated and at the same time the size is fixed fixed means before allocation only you need to mention the size of the memory size how much i require Suppose coming to the concept of arrays, arrays is a static memory allocation. For example, you have to declare int a of 5. That means we are allocating memory for the variable a up to 5 elements only. It is not possible to enhance the memory. Why? Only one time fixed memory is allocated. And one more problem is this static memory allocation does not support the concept of recursion. Why? Recursion means a function calls itself. That is, each and every time you need to update the temporary variables. But in the static means, it retains the local names. If it retains the local names in the sense, it is not possible to use the concept of recursion. This is the main problems of static storage allocation. Okay. Simply remember this point. Anybody ask what is static storage allocation means assign the memory at the compile time is called static storage allocation. Okay. Next one. Next one is stack storage allocation stack you know the concept the last inserted first out so stack storage allocation means simply the memory is organized as stack whenever we call a procedure that is a program under execution is called activation so whenever an activation begins remember an activation begins. Activation begins means starting of the program execution. Then 
द एक्टिवेशन रिकॉर्ड वेन एवर एन एक्टिवेशन बिगिन्स द एक्टिवेशन रिकॉर्ड इज पुशड इन टू द स्टैक इज पुशड इन टू द स्टैक एंड एन एवर द एक्टिवेशन एंड द एक्टिवेशन रिकॉर्ड इज पॉप्ड फ्रॉम द स्टैक दैट मीन्स ईच एंड एवरी एक्टिवेशन इट पुशेज द रिकॉर्ड इन टू द स्टैक वंस द कंप्लीटेड इट पॉप द रिकॉर्ड फ्रॉम द स्टैक दैट मीन्स इट डज नॉट रिटाइन द लोकल नेम्स ईच एंड एवरी टाइम ए फ्रेश मेमरी ईज अलोकेटेड ईच एंड एवरी टाइम ए फ्रेश मेमरी ईज अलोकेटेड इट डज नॉट रिटाइन द लोकल नेम इन स्टैटिक the local names are retained but in stack the local names are not retained in what situation you are using this is the place the main purpose for static stack storage is recursion the stack storage supports the concept of recursion okay now finally we are moving into third one what is third one heap storage allocation heap storage means the memory is allocated to the user at any time depending upon the requirement suppose right now i need some 100 bytes of memory allocated so during the program execution if i want additional memory no problem it can add the additional memory so simply what is heap storage heap is dynamically allocate the memory dynamically allocate the memory so if it is dynamically allocate the memory means it overcomes the problems of static memory allocation that means no need to mention the size of the memory in advance whenever i required i can improve the size i can increase the size so heap means dynamically allocation of memory at any time during the execution of the program now this heap also supports the concept of recursion now clear these are the three types of storage allocation observe the difference among these two static means compile time that is fixed heap means run time that is not fixed we can change according to our requirement stack means this is a completely different scenario stack main purpose is to push the activation record and then after completion of the execution to pop the activation record we are using stack memory allocation these are three different storage allocation techniques thank you